Hey everybody! So in this video, I will show you how I have upgraded my uh, old laptop from uh, these specs right here to these ones right here. I have upgraded basically everything. The CPU from an uh, Celeron to an i5, the RAM from 2 gigs to 16, the internal hard drive to an SSD, the optical drive to another SSD and I even upgraded the motherboard because the old one didn't have USB 3.0 and only came with 2.0 and uh, luckily Lenovo made the same model in uh, two versions. As an added bonus I will also add an external GPU to this with the help of the GDP Win. This is an, an expensive uh, module I bought from eBay, I believe. What this does, it replaces your uh, Wi-Fi card with uh, this cable. And it goes here into the module. And here you connect the graphics card. I will show you how I did that later. Uh, I've also had to install a custom BIOS for this to work, but uh, you will not have to do this, most likely. This is an inexpensive uh, way to add an external GPU to old laptops, which don't have the Thunderbolt 3 port. The disadvantage is that you lose the internal Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, but um, the one that came with the Lenovo laptop was very old anyway, so I will use an external one, which is much faster. I want to make this solution permanent, I don't want any wires hanging out of the laptop. So I will find a way to put this permanently inside the machine. Oh and by the way, if you wonder what I did with the old motherboard and CPU, you can watch this video right here about how I built a Kodi box or a multimedia PC. So enjoy the video! This is the new motherboard I bought from eBay. As you can see it has the blue USB 3.0 ports. I removed the VGA plug since I will never use it and instead of it I will put the cable from the GDP Win box. I will show you later how I will do it. This is the new i5 CPU. Luckily this laptop has a removable CPU and it makes the CPU upgrade very easy. I just have to align the triangle on the CPU with the one from the CPU socket and then tie down the screw. Next I pull a bead of thermal paste and screw down the cooler. I'm pickle Rick! And connect the fan cable. These are two sticks of 8GB of RAM for a total of 16. They simply snap into place. Now let's put everything back in the case.
This is how the connector for the graphics card looks like, it's a HDMI plug sticking out of the side of the laptop where before was the VGA port. I put some hot glue at the bottom to keep it in place. So what do you think? I like this solution, it's not very obtrusive. This is the graphics card that I'll use, it's a GTX 1050 Mini from Zotac. This is a 12 volt 10 amps power brick that will be connected here to the module. And then the graphics card slides into the PCI Express slot. I'll be using an HDMI extension cable to connect it to the laptop in a clean way. As you can see it's working and the fan of the graphics card spins. If I disconnect it, it stops. I will create a nice enclosure for the graphics card. I'm thinking about using this case from an old external hard drive. I just had this lying around. I will make some holes in it and cram everything inside. I will show this in a future video, so uh, subscribe for that. Mm -hmm.